Hey, what is up, guys? It's Tall One Number One again. So, again, we have a scouts of entertainment versus myself, Total One Number One. This time, I am in Ladrus, and Scout chose this map. And I was like, oh, this is a it's quite a good map actually. There's a lot of different routes you can attack each other. And um, I'll start with my force a sec. I was thinking, so I've deployed here and here. I was thinking maybe I should put troops over here, hide them. There's just so many different places. So basically, I just deployed up here. I got some enlarged guardians. Uh, I believe there's two units of them. Uh, who look like the god Helaminer um, without the bows? Oh, no, ha 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 ha! They are. I'm co I'm confused now. I'm getting myself confused. No, they, they do. They do look like. If scouts are watching this, are these guys the same? Are they the same troop? They look like the same unit to be fair, just minus the bow. Anywho, um, so we've got one unit of got the Helaminer, which is my general. That's the other guardians. They must be mixed together. The God Helmine, where are you? There they are. So we got my general in there. And I got my favourite, the Aldean with spears. Um, and we've got some archers of Rivendell pushing up. Obviously a loose formation. Um, if I go to the rear then, I've got some nice riders of Brunan, the missile cap of Madras. Um I haven't really used Missile Cav that much, um, but they had quite a good uh, armour upgrade, so I went for that. And then obviously we've got the other armoured lancers, the Elite Cav from Rivendell. Um, I've done a little sneak attack here. I've got Enlarges Guardians and Swords of Rivendell with the Norotuna Warriors, uh, two units of Norotuna Warriors, and then hidden. We've got Swords of Rivendell, Swords of Rivendell. So they're currently in ambush mode. Again, this was all a bit rushed and got a bit flustered, I think. If I had, if I had to uh, think about this again, I would have had my spears back here um, and probably another unit of guardians here, and not just guardians or swords of Rimmerdell in this forest and use the forest a bit more. Um, and that is basically my my army. He is bringing Harad. Got some Haradrin spears, reinforced there by some uh, dismounted serpent guard. I haven't actually played as Harad, but they look well evil, don't they? Haha. <laughs> but I suppose they are evil men. Um, I haven't played with them, but yeah, Southron archers. There's 155 of those. I don't know how good they are. Um, Southron warband. They look like fodder a bit. I don't know if they're any good. All I know is that there's a lot of them. More missiles again. Uh, Haradrin spears. And then backed up again. By dismantled serpent guard. I think that is pretty much just mainly spears and missiles. The troop. And then in the back here we've got some champions of Nafarat. Uh, some pikes. More pikes. Pikes are very good for putting some pressure on. And we've got some nice missile cav now, and some heavy cav, the black serpents. Nice. Alright, so let's speed up the tad. So currently I'm outgunned, aren't I? And I notice uh, the scout is rushing forward. So my, my arch is already firing. I get a bit freaked out here, so he's, like, he's not coming up here. So I push uh, my two spears so we can wrap around. But it's quite a distance, and I didn't really realise. Um, the scout was coming very quickly. Um, I did spot that he's bringing up his cab on the right flank. So I've moved. We actually brought the same, basically. We brought, brought one unit of heavy cab and one unit of missile cab. So we'll see how that goes now. We are still firing currently. Nice. Any good hits? A little rushing. I think we're shooting the missiles. Oh, Trollman of Harad. These are freaky dudes. And then obviously I've got over here, I've got my other arm, um, got Halamina and Ashes of Rivendell firing over this, into this canyon, providing some more support. Got the pikes up front. 
pushing these guys back now. I need to push these guys in ideally. This all happened quite quickly. I don't have a chance to react really. Um, we've got the first cavalry heavy cav here against my uh, elder and lancers. And my missile cav have been caught up in this, but I'll soon pull those out. Where's his missile cav? There they are. He's coming too. So, my sneaky ambush. So we got Swords of Riverdale against the Southern Warband. Ah, uh, yeah, that was a bit of a fail. I wasn't quick enough here, really. I don't know why these guys stayed in melee, but they got double axes, pretty cool. And they're going against the Dismatter Serpent Guard, which are reinforced then by some Southern Warband. Again, like, there's a lot of them. It's quite quite a shock, I think. Um, so we're still going there. I land my, uh... Yeah, so I was sending two units of the largest guardians and two elder army spears. See, if I had those here, I would have stood a lot better chance, I think. Um, these guys are still firing. Hindsight's uh, a great thing, isn't it? Hindsight. <laughs> this battle actually went really quick. Um, there we go. So we smashed their smart cut their um, serpents. We've still got 39 left. They are chasing us, I think. Yeah, they are chasing us currently. We've got my missile cab over there. I put my missile cab over here. We lost quite a few during that um, melee battle, uh, but hopefully we can smash them now. I want to do hammer and anvil basically with my cab. Because they've got obviously got the Saffron Archers back here. Here come my Elder and we uh, um, Spears now. Nice, good rear charge now. Lovely. They are my favourite. They're so good. I actually did the 1v1 against the computer. These guys against the Spear version from Mookwood. And they actually beat them. But they're slightly better. So, again. Hindsight now, I would not have used two units to clump up here. I would have done one there, one there, or I would have just let the Guardians deal, deal with these guys and got the Spears to support down here. But if I could take it all back, I would have done a good line up here with Spears and Swords with Archers in the rear. I think we would have done a lot better. Um, and instead we've just been overrun and outflanked. How are we doing over here? So there's an 87 against 152. Swords are not very, it's not the choice against um, spears really. We have 20 heavy cav there against 36 other armory lancers left. Stab him. Stab, yes, slash. Slash. I love the uh, armor. Oh, he took a nasty, nasty shot there. Yeah, he's down by the looks of it. Yes, he is down. Ah, we lost another guy there. Not ah, cool. So we got the nice. Oh, damn, we um, spears are pushing in here against the missiles. They're down to 83 now. I got some guardians just attacking them from both sides there. We sent one unit. Get oh, what was that? What happened there? Get. <laughs> What was that? I have no idea what that was. All I know is that we've lost over half half the enemy there. Uh, half our forces. Well, that's some elite... I have no idea what happened there. If anyone does know what type of missile did that, that's very impressive. We got 31 cav now, and they're down to 25 for the missiles. Down to 15 on the heavy cav. We got still got 31, so obviously we're winning that battle. Um, right, so we've left them alone now. We've noticed that we're we're losing here. Um, so they not not surprisingly they're broken now. I don't know what happened there. That was crazy. And again here. Why are they fall? Why are they all down? 
Is it like a secret artillery or something? Is it Southern Archers? Have they got special abilities? Or is it the demons of the desert? Maybe they've got like a really really good missile, I'm guessing. That was crazy. They only look like weird wooden bat things. Or wooden swords. So obviously we're not doing very well here. <laughs> We've been overrun. We're broken there. Um, some Hydrogen Spears are coming up. Looking to get my Lancers. And my Missile Cav. I will need to pull back out of... There's just so much going on. I don't think my brain computes with it. Maybe it will eventually. <laughs> uh, so we've got some nice missile troops over here just doing some point blank firing. Nice. But obviously they've still got a lot of troops there. Um, we've got Archers of Rivendell and that God of Halamina firing down. Demons of the Desert. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what their missile damage is because that was crazy. Obviously we've still got a lot of troops here. Only 23 of them there. The problem is, we didn't take out these guys properly. And now we're getting shot in the back. Yeah. Oh, hindsight. Look my cav. Oh, my cav. There they are. We're dealing with the rest of this missile cav now. We've got 30 cav there. Yeah. It's a nice rear charge now against these demons. He's just like, what the hell happened then? He poked in the back. Nice. What a weird weapon they have. Yeah, that was really poor decision making by myself, um, leaving these missile troops open to just shoot our backs now. But I am bringing my lances down to do some rear charges against these guys. Um, I'm pulling these guys back, obviously they're in skirmish mode so they're gonna flee against, against uh, opposition. And we got the Naratimo warriors who aren't broken currently. So I'm just trying to make a little last stand here. Uh, much to uh, my other army spears are being surrounded. Try to smart a ship and guard. They're broken. I think we would have been alright if we didn't have so much. There we go. The cava charging in now. Should get a good charge bonus there to be fair. He ran straight through. Oh no, he's not mine. <laughs> Done a 135, 134. Didn't kill many on, uh, on the charge there. Must be the tree's problem. Yeah, I felt if we had these guys at the start right in the center. We have held the center for a while, especially front on. These guys are broken now. So we're going to E4. If we could redo this again, have the swords on the flanks, spears in the center and the archers here, then Scout probably would have used these flanking maneuvers then. So yeah. Okay, so we're down to 25 on our missile cav. We've taken out the missile infantry now. We are firing, but it's probably quite Pointless currently. We lost 60%, they've lost 35%. They're still shooting in our backs. And they've rear charged our cav now with the heavy cav. We're down to 26. They've lost about 30 odd guys though, so fair play. We did alright the there. Speed up a tad now. I'm bringing back my. Yeah, so we're holding them back with our Archers of Riverdale. Trollmen of Harad, tough. We've got two battles going on here. One against Spears. Oh, wait, oh, a bit laggy there. I'll just slow down a tad. Didn't like that, didn't like that. Haradrim Spearmen against the Narotima Warriors. 
We do have these guys now as well. Go out firing into this giant blob. And their backs are showing, so that's a really good target. We're down to 58 now. I have no doubt we're doing some good kills here. 15 are broken though. Who can fight in here? Nice. Swords of Rivendell. Again, smashed. What are my lances doing over here? Ah, oh, we're no longer there. Where did we go? Are we dead? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. We could be dead. It's quite a few. Uh, it does look like 30 bodies, though. Oh, -ho, I charged the main, the main line. Oh, yes, yes, yes. There's seven of them. Oh, they're broken, that's why. Well, hopefully they get some more kills. So, obviously, I'm lining up for our final defense now. Uh, still got my Gotala Miner firing down. These Trollmen of Harad are pretty tough. Let's get in these guys. I do, yeah, I've changed their targets now because elves are pinpoint accurate with the archery fire. Um, I have to just fire into the backs of these guys. Nice. Nice. I don't know how true that is for the <laughs> pinpoint accuracy. They probably do still do a bit of a friendly fire. But. Yeah, we're trying to outflank these trolls currently. 65 of them. And we're out of ammo now, so we're charging in our uh, God Helamina. Who. I'm on the fence. They are very good, but are they worth the 1300 florins, denarii, whatever we use now? Are they are they worth the 1300 that you spend on them? That is the question. Or are you better off just getting Elder Army Archers? Because there is more of them, and they have similar defense. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna have a look next time me and Scout play. I'll be Aldo and we. I'll be uh, in Lagos again. Maybe go with Aldo and we archers for my general. And uh, let's see how we go there. Well, obviously these guys got shields. Aldo and we archers don't have shields. But yeah, I mean the elves obviously they're very elite. They're very good. All right, we we possibly won this little victory by here. 30 of them, they're shaken. These guys are facing the wrong way for some reason. Alright, turn around. Come on, guys. These trolls are causing a huge dent against us at the moment. A lot of dead bodies on the floor. And there's only a certain amount of time before all this rabble. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I say, only a certain amount of time before all this rabble come and attack us. Um, I'm bringing down my missile cab now. Who are currently shooting at these missile troops? They yeah, look pretty cool. Nice. I told them just to fire this blob now. I mean, we're overrun. There's not much we can do, really. And then. Yeah. These guys are taking down the last of the heavy cab. Speed up a tad. The enemy there we go. They have lost half their More trolls. And we're finally taking them out. And now we got our last... Our last hurdle. There we go. Now they're broken already. It's a surprise attack. Well, we would have won. If it was just these guys, we would have won. But... <laughs> Nice, they are definitely pushing, pushing always, create a nice centre square there. And we've got a missile cab over here, there's four left, but they're firing to the backs of my general now. I do push them back now just to try and help the general. 
Oh, nice. That was a good kill, though. Good kill. Come on. They're still firing arrows. Nice. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Yeah, these guys look good. Serpent guards. Using mass bulk now to take over. Yeah, absolutely destroyed. I got my cab over here. I decided it's 25 of us. We'll go for a rear charge on these dismounted Pacific guards. Eventually. There we go. There is no action call. What? Hmm. Alexa thinks I'm talking to her. Weird thing. So it is. 87 of them. Did we do any kill? Oh! Nice, we took out 5 without charge. 7 without charge. That's not bad. And we didn't lose any. That's not bad actually, as soon as they, they don't have like a charge bonus or anything. That's quick to get them out of there. So we take a 6, and they didn't kill any of our guys. Nice. Fair play. So we killed eight on that. That's well, good to know that these missile cover are actually quite good for charges as well. Let's see a frontal charge now, there's 79. Frontal one kill. One kill for the frontal charge. And he got one of ours. Probably two of ours, I don't know. Hello, wait, we don't fancy that one anymore. We're gonna go I have to try it oh, out, god. We're down to 16 here. Rear charging the spears. Nice. Nice. Little tuggers. Yeah. I got off to the wrong foot straight away, really. I did not start well. They're broken. I see how many kills we got now on um, our individual units. Okay, so... We had about 800 more men. We had 165 casualties. No, a team of warriors. 255, nice. That was pretty cool. I thought my spears would have done better, but I think because they were being flanked. I think next time if we if we had them on the frontal assault and they weren't being flanked or attacked from the rear, we would have done a lot better. Um, but now it's uh, Scouts of Entertainment 2, Total War number one. <laughs> Total War number one, zero. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.